Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So just now we are done with gate exam. I came from the exam center and I thought of making this initial impression video where I'm going to discuss about the exam itself. So first of all, I met a lot of students and I'm really thankful to all of you who came and who interacted with me and those who were just looking from uh, from a little far away and didn't came. It's okay. It's no problem. But yeah, I, I felt really great interacting with all of you. Now coming to the exam, uh, so what was the exam level uh, and how I felt, these are all my personal opinion based upon uh, the interaction which I, like the interaction which I got to know from the students also, right? So if I talk about the level of exam, uh, tough, easy, so basically if I compare it with the gate 2022 exam, right, the last exam, so it was a bit on the easier side, right, compared to that. Not, I'm not saying that the overall exam was easy because gate exam is typically like this only. You will get some easy questions, some difficult questions, it's a mixture of all of them, but I'm just comparing it, it with 2022. Let's talk about aptitude portion. So the aptitude portion, uh, portion was more of logical type rather than being on mathematical type. So you don't need a lot of mathematics to solve those questions. Like a lot of formulas were not included. Actually, by applying logic, you can do a lot of questions. I can say around five to six questions out of 10 were being done based upon logic. Okay, a, like including the English and the grammar based questions, right? Now coming to the chemistry portion, I'm not that great from the organic perspective, organic chemistry perspective. So I won't be talking about that portion. I'll be talking about inorganic and physical chemistry. So from inorganic, there were very easy questions. Some of them were very easy questions. Like they just asked about CFSE, like the, the CFSE of manganese and iron uh, uh, like complexes, right? In the different oxidation states. Then there were uh, like a question which could be done simply with 18 electron rule that was uh, uh, based upon nickel OCM based question, right? So these were very straightforward questions. Then uh, from physical chemistry, if I say, so there was a question which was asked about uh, the packing efficiency of BCC. That was such a, such a easy question. Then uh, goes like questions from organic spectroscopy where I guess the question was repeated from the previous year, especially uh, that uh, NMR structure, which well, you have to deduce the NMR structure based upon the given data. So that was a repeated question. Secondly, I find that electrochemistry question was a repeated question. Xenon difluoride has been asked previously also. So they have this time they have included it in MSQ. So yeah, MSQs were a little bit tricky compared to MCQs and uh, NATs were a little bit calculative, but there were certain questions which could have been done just by single formula or just by applying simple logic, right? So uh, all in all, if I uh, tell you, the paper was not very tough and it was not very easy. It was a medium level paper and uh, the cutoff will go a little bit higher than the last time. So I'll be making memory based question very soon. So I'll be uploading that on this channel. So stay tuned for that. And what you guys feel about the exam, what you guys have your opinion about the exam, do let me know in the comment sections below. And that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye bye. Take care.